Hi, everybody. How are you today? It's Friday and I'm back in a week. Yay. <laughs> um, I want to spend the next couple of weeks um, since we're coming up on the end of the year and I know it's holiday time and you guys are busy and you're bustling around um, for people or maybe it hasn't been too long since your loss yet and you're not sure what to do. So whatever you're doing this holiday season, um, I pray it is a blessed one for you. And I want to give you some tips so that we can set up 2024 to be a successful year for us. And so I have um, been doing a number of things and over the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna share with you what those have what those are that I do, um, excuse me, every December, and then I follow it through all year, what I've set up in December. And so last time we talked, I uh, talked about um, finding a word that fits in your heart, that feels good, that resonates with you, that you feel like is something that you can stand behind and work toward um, all year. And so I wanted to kind of give you the last three years of um, my words and, and kind of how that went. So in um, 2022, my word was wisdom. And you can imagine with what we've been through, um, wisdom was so important for me at that time. I <clears throat> was struggling after three years, and so I needed wisdom, I needed insight um, from God on how to get through this and pick up the pieces and do what he wanted me to do. And so I was all about wisdom. And it's, um, I wrote beside that, um, understanding, knowledge, and insight. So what did wisdom mean to me? And it meant understanding, knowledge, and insight. And you could go on and write even more words for that one. And I don't want the words that I'm gonna share with you that I've done influence you on your words. I just want you to have an idea because I have to have a starting point. <clears throat> I have to have an idea. I can't go from a clean slate. Um, I like tips and ideas um, ahead of time. And so that's what I got and that's what I wanna give to you guys. So that was my first word. and <coughs> That was in 2022, excuse me. And then I always find a Bible verse to go with it. <clears throat> and I'm not gonna take the time to read the Bible verses for you, but I'm gonna tell you that for wisdom for me in 2022, um, my Bible verse was um, Psalms 8.1. And actually it was the entire chapter. 8.1 captured me and then I read the entire chapter. And so when I decided <clears throat> that my word was going to be wisdom, and what I wanted that wisdom to look like, then I found corresponding um, help from the Bible that would help me accomplish that. And so I would Google, like I Googled wisdom in, um, yeah, in Google, I just said, you know, uh, wisdom in the Bible. And Psalms, I mean, it's all over the Bible, obviously, but Psalms was um, infiltrated with wisdom. There's so much um, wisdom content in there. And so I read all of Psalms 8.1. So um, that took me through, and I'm going to share with you more things that I did um, next week, but I want to get through the words probably this week. Um, so that took me through all of um, 2022. And so we've talked before and my stack isn't there because I've got it all over here. Um, but back there in the corner of that couch is my stack of things that I go through all or as much as I can, um, depending on how much time I allow myself in the morning. So I get up every morning 
And um, if there's things going on, I try to get up early so I can get it done because otherwise my day gets away from me and I don't get done what I need to do to set the day. So it's important to set the day before we get started. And so I have a stack of things over there that I do and they're all right here. Um, and I'm just gonna touch on them today, probably just the words. So I set myself up for the day by getting up early enough to be able to go over there and do the things that I'm gonna tell you throughout the next couple of three weeks that I do. And so I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I hope you can find value in it. So for 2023, my word was abundance. And so I looked up in, uh, I Googled um, abundance in the Bible, and it led me to three or four different places in the Bible. And the one that I chose that fit me for 2023 was Psalms 6511. So what I do is um, I put a marker there in my Bible. And when I do my morning readings and so on, I make sure to read that passage every single day. Like for 2022, when I said Psalms 8-1, I read that one every day. And if I had more time, then I would read more of Psalms. And so I inundated myself with that every morning, all year long. And it really can bless you. Find the word that you resonate with. And so for 2024, the word that came to me was breakthrough. And when I Googled breakthrough in the Bible, um, first of all, some of the things that I wrote down were provisions. Um, suddenly, breakthroughs, they usually come suddenly from God. And I like that. Um, immediate, instant. And the Bible verse that I found that correlates to that, which I will start reading in January, um, is 1 Chronicles 14.11. And at this moment, I don't remember what that one says because I haven't delved into that one yet. The other two, I, I know what they say because I read them every single day for an entire year. And so the one I'm going to be reading for um, 2024 is 1 Chronicles 14.11, and my word is breakthrough. And so it depends on your circumstances and what you've got going on. Um, definitely go into prayer for it. And you can even Google um, words for the year or affirmation words for the year, um, God's word for the year. Google different things to help you come upon your word and really give it some thought. Don't just jump into it and pick some things like, oh, well, that sounds okay, I'll do that one. It's gotta hit you. It's gotta hit in your heart, your mind and your heart, but specifically in your heart. You know, we function from our heart. If we function from our mind, we get in trouble. <laughs> our heart and our, as women, we can also function from our guts. And so pick a word and I really encourage you to try this. You've got nothing to lose and everything to gain, um, and you can have some fun with it. So pick your word for the year, find the Bible verse, read it every day, all year long, and of course be prayerful every day. So I start out my day in prayer and thanksgiving and being grateful. And um, so that's how I start. And then I open the Bible and I will read my um, verse pertaining to my word for the year. And so that's my beginning of how I set up every year. And I tell you this because I used to do this. And then when Gar passed in 2019, um, I had my word set up. For 2019 but shoot my word felt my world fell apart and so so did that word I have no idea what it was and so 2020 and 2021 um, you guys saw the 
grief I was in. And so I was in no place to uh, even think about coming. It didn't even cross my mind to do that. I was just in on and off in too much grief all the time. And um, so in 2022, um, actually toward the end of the year, I began to think about how I could change or improve my situation. And that was one of the things was um, coming up with my word that I used to do. And so I want to leave you with just that today. And I want that to be your homework. And I really, really hope that you will do it. I really hope and pray that you will do that because I know it will bless you. I promise you it will. It may not bless you today or tomorrow, but throughout the year, you'll find it. You'll see signs. And ask God, you know, in your prayer time, ask him to see signs of um, the word that you and him chose for you for the year. Ask him to see signs and, and they'll happen. They'll happen. So I hope that you will do that. And I ask you then to do me a favor. And if you're in our Facebook group, um, go in. I'm going to uh, put this video in there so I, I can encourage everybody to watch it in case they don't see it in my YouTube channel. And then I'm going to, um, I encourage everybody to, to put a word in and I'll start a message um, if it doesn't get lost. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. I'll pin it to the top. I'll start a message and I'll pin it to the top. And then all you have to do is comment under it and tell us, and, I, and I'll put my word in there that I read to you and I'll tell about that. And then um, underneath it, everybody comment what your um, word was and anything you want to say about it, how you found it, what it meant to you, why you chose it, um, the Bible verse that goes along with it, um, anything that you want to tell us about that word. And we'll all share our words. Won't that be fun? We can learn from each other. We can inspire each other all year long just on finding a word that supports us for the year. So I want to encourage you to do that. And if you're not on Facebook, make sure you find me, friend me, private message me and tell me you want to be in the Facebook group and you want to participate in the um, your word of the year. All right. So with that, I want you to have an awesome, blessed week and having um, enjoyment with whatever you're doing, getting ready for Christmas. And um, remember, if no one else tells you today, remember, I love you. Have an awesome and blessed day, you guys. Bye for now.